good afternoon to one and all who are watching this guest lecture in youtube live i thank our honorable president sri engineer ac s arun kumar on the management of the mgr educational research institute now i call our beloved dean give a special address ma'am yeah good afternoon to one and all present here first of all i would uh, extend a warm welcome to the uh, participants of today's event and a big round of appreciation and congratulations to the department for having organized a subject lecture uh so many times i have uh, informed the students that uh, subject lecture is not a extra curricular or co curricular activity but it is an activity that is embedded along with the curriculum so there are uh, that is the curriculum or the syllabus is going to give you a concept but such subject lectures will give you the application of the concept so which everybody can learn right but where to apply how to apply when to apply is going to be the challenging part so such challenges are uh, meant through such subject lectures such subject lectures so uh, the such initiatives are taken by uh, our university and as well as the departments So today you are going to witness a lecture by our own staff, Miss Devi, and she is going to uh, um, deal about a topic that is in the curriculum. So I request all the students to carefully watch and attend the full lecture. Once again, I thank our management for giving us such opportunity. And uh, nowadays all are conducted online mode, so that also we are taking into account. and we thank and i appreciate the department once again for such an initiative thank you thank you ma'am now i call dr bindu give you the address i'm dr bindu good afternoon to one and all present here i would like to welcome you all for the subject lecture organized by mechanical department of dr india educational and research institute chennai stars shine at night but some stars shine at bright daylight in this occasion i take immense pleasure to welcome such a stars of our university our honorable founder chancellor tiru ac shanmugam sir honorable president acs engineer arun kumar sir welcome you sir i wholeheartedly welcome our uh, vc madam dr s geeta lakshmi welcome you ma'am respected registrar D dr c b palani velu sir welcome you sir respected joint register dr v siril raj sir welcome you sir and uh, respected joint register e and s dr d b jabaraj sir welcome you sir it is my great pleasure to welcome our dean ma'am E and S, Dr. N S Subashree, Madam, welcome you, ma'am. Who keep on us influencing us with a great leadership. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your great leadership and encouraging us for conducting such programs. Welcome you, ma'am. Last but not the least, I sincerely welcome our students for the program to gain more knowledge about the radial drilling mission. delivered by our colleague doc uh, mrs devi of mechanical department i once again welcome you all for this knowledgeable program thank you all thank you bindu ma'am now i call mr arti chandar department of mechanical engineering give a chief guest introduction Yeah, good afternoon, one and all. So I consider it a great honor to welcome guest lecturer, Mrs. Devi, 
in mechanical engineering department. Uh, she has completed UG in Ronifat Engineering College and the PG in St. Peter's College of Engineering. So currently, she is doing PhD in Veltech University in the area of material characterizations. So may I invite the guest lecturer, Mrs. Devi Mack. Yeah, thank you. It's over to Devi Mack. Thank you, Chandra, sir. Thank you, sir. Maybe, ma'am, it's audible. Yes, sir. Stage is yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to all. First of all, I would like to thank our uh, honorable president, uh, and then I would like to thank our dean, ma'am, uh, and my uh, dear colleagues. Thank you to all. And actually i am from mechanical uh, mechanical engineering department so today we are going to see about the radial drilling machines and that uh, what is the use of drilling machines why we are using for and the drilling machines and uh, what are the types of drilling machines so everything we, we are going to discuss in this session uh, and then what are the materials we are using and um, and then uh, what are the types of drilling machines or their drilling bits or there and uh, uh, what is the special things about the radial drilling machines apart from the other type of the drilling machines and uh, drilling machines is a drill press we, ca we can uh, known as the drill press so where we needed to make the hole or uh, where we needed to make a threading or whatever it may be so we can easily make it uh, that material is work piece is a very hot material so we have to make a drill so in that condition the cutting tool is also needed to uh, very hard so then the work pieces so if in if we are going to study about the or we are going to uh, knowing about the uh, what are this uh, hardness and then uh, what is the property of the material and uh, what is the property of the work pieces so these things we are going to know about this and here um, <clears throat> What are the types of uh, drill bits are there? Actually, uh, already I told. So first of all, we are taking the work piece. So based on the work piece, we have to choose the uh, drill bit because the work piece is very high strength means the, the, than that uh, strength, very higher strength of the drill bit, we have to use it. For example, how we can use, uh, how we can choose this uh, material, that means uh, drill bits. First of all, we are knowing about the work piece uh, properties. That means property means uh, chemical composition and mechanical strength, that is yield strength, tensile strength, everything first we are, that is the mechanical strength, mechanical properties. So everything first we, we, uh, we have to read it. That means we have to know in about the work pieces. So already uh, I hope uh, in all students are studied in basic mechanical and civil engineering subject in this uh, uh, strength, yield strength, tensile strength, compressive strength so everything you know this so on that strength uh, we are applying to uh, in that property we are knowing to know about the property of the material then only we can choose the cutting tools that means that cutting tools is a drill bit if you are to if you are using the milling operation means that cutting tool called as the milling milling cutters milling cutters so many type of the cutters are there in each and every operations so many uh, based on the property of the material they are classified so how they are classified based on the what are the materials or in in this uh, drill bits or in this uh, uh, cutter means based on the carbon content so th this is the very important one so we can um, uh, categorize the uh, strength based on the carbon content that is low carbon medium carbon and high carbon I Corbin. So here uh, I gave the very few of the drill bit material only. So uh, carbon steels and high speed steel 
titanium that is they are all they are a major content so they will add it in the alloys some of the alloys titanium chromium aluminium uh, ni niobium so these some of the content uh, the some of the materials we have to add it in that material so we can get the some of the alloy so what is the use of these alloy means that alloy is giving the more strength so we can easily uh, and one more thing is uh, if the uh, raw of the carbon steels or uh, high speed steel means uh, we cannot uh, we, we cannot design the some of the component so in that conditions we have to uh, we have to uh, add it in the some of the alloying materials so here um, <clears throat> and coating so uh, in in that material sometimes the work piece uh, what are the work piece we are chosen for example and um, some of the stainless steel so 304 stainless steel or 410 some stainless steel uh, that is the grade is there so in that stainless steel stainless steel first uh, basically this is a very hard material so in that stainless steel we have to cut or we have to drill it make a drill means we need the more than the uh, strength of the cutters so in that condition so sometimes the cutter is also more than strength of this work pieces but in that condition the we are we are using continuously uh, operation for example drilling or milling or turning uh, whatever may, whatever process or whatever operations we are doing so in that conditions so that uh, the, uh, that uh, tool that cutter that cutter will be uh, wearing so in that wearing to uh, we have to reduce this because of the wear in increases so uh, or that uh, tool life will be reduced For, uh, in most of the companies or most of the industries uh, they have to uh, produce the product in uh, the cost basis so in that cost that is a cutting tool cost is the major thing in that product that pro productivity so in that conditions they have to increase the tool life and one more thing is the tool cutting tool is uh, very sharp and a good condition uh, condition means then only we can get it in the um, precious product that means uh, uh, very uh, accurate product we can get it so in that conditions we have to maintain the cutting tools we have to concentrate or focus on the uh, cutting tool is very important so in cutting tool in that type of the cutting tool uh, we have uh, to reduce the uh, that wear during the continuous operations so we have to reduce the wear so in that wear we are we can give the coatings so that is the second con second uh, what is this options so we can give the coatings and one more thing in uh, in before introducing the coatings um, uh, they are using for sharpening the cutting tools and they can use it so uh, again and again if they are sharpening and then they can use it in the cutting tools so certain period of uh, in this cutting tool that strength will be uh, reduced and that it lost the strength and the dimensions will be varying so in that conditions to avoid this or we have to uh, stop uh, like in that type of the uh, problems uh, they are giving the coatings so in that coatings based on the some of the materials they will use it for example titanium uh, aluminium carbon like in that combination of the coating things they will they, they will give so they, they we are using we are using on the in this uh, cutting tools so in that cutting tools uh, in that coating is also uh, it will be varying based on the uh, that mixtures that is uh, i i told the uh, some of the com uh, combination of the um, coatings so in that coatings also we can give the uh, different uh, methods that is a mono coating and multi coating like this a multi coating means uh, for example if you are taking the mono coating means uh, first uh, they will give the coatings as a titanium and the, um, uh, uh, after that they will use it if any uh, that wear is uh, not uh, resist or that uh, tool uh, property is not improved in that conditions again they are giving the uh, <coughs> 
nitride aluminium likewise one by one they will give in this coating that is mono coating and that uh, multiple coating means that combination of the coatings that is layer by layer in mono coating means they will give it in the um, uh, one coatings only one single material only they will coated in uh, multi coating means they are mixed in multi coating is also two types are there first of all they are they are mixing mixed of the and this coating they will use it or otherwise first layer is titanium second layer is aluminium and third layer is uh, carbon like this they will give the layer by layer coatings so based on this coatings so we can get the um, uh, uh, we can get the uh, what is this the tool life increases the tool life and reduces the that we are resistance so in that it will be used for to improving the productivity so uh, already uh, that is the thing is why we are studying these things so we have to where we have to applying the what is the application of this uh, studying uh, what is the Maybe application of the drilling yes sir sorry for the yes, sir. Yes. Um, uh, yes. uh, slide more like more than uh, oh okay sir okay sir thank you okay sir thank you sir uh, and this is the drill bit material so uh, this is the for example uh, some of the drill bit it, that based on the fluids I'll, uh, in uh, in our basic mechanical we are studying the that fluids what is the helix angle what is the neck shake shank uh, that shank means it will be holding on the uh, holder so in that so this is the different type of the material and different uh, shapes and diameter it will be varying so based on the work pieces everything is we are using based on the work pieces so this is the types of the drill bit and um, next is the types of drilling machines so here um, the ty types of drilling machines portable drilling machine sensitive drilling machine upright drilling machine radial gang drilling machine multiple spindle drilling machines and uh, deep hole drilling machines so these are all the uh, drilling machines types see here in this uh, drilling machines uh, so different type of the drilling machines are there so they are used the uh, in this uh, type of the drilling machines uh, based on the um, what is this uh, 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 that comfort based on the um, uh, operations based on the um, uh, place of the making the hole so in that conditions they will use it so uh, the, these are all the types of the drilling machines so in, in that conditions we are going to uh, talk about the radial drilling machines in this uh, radial uh, drilling machines actually uh, basically this is a very uh, heavy uh, heavy duty heavy machines so in that machines or we cannot placed in the normal uh, tables and all because this is a very uh, strong and uh, full solid material it is made up of the cast iron this is very uh, solid material so in that type of the uh, machines or uh, placed in only for in uh, ground only so due to uh, during the in this operations so it will be vibrating so in that conditions we are placed in the uh, ground only so what is the special uh, things for a uh, radial drilling machines than the other drilling machine so here uh, if you are taking the the uh, portable drilling sensitive drilling upright drilling uh, gang radial gang drilling multiple spindle drilling means machines so uh, here uh, for example if you are taking the multiple spindle uh, machines so that spindle is here more than one uh, spindles so in that conditions uh, so we can make it as a whole for uh, uh, mass holes or mass drilling so we can use it in the multiple spindle machine machines so in radial drilling machine means uh, that means in that multiple uh, multiple spindle machine means it will be uh, a standard distance we have to keep it and we can make it the hole so uh, in a radial what is the advantages of uh, than the other uh, than the other drilling machine uh, for in this radial drilling machine means we can move it easily free that means uh, like our arm uh, and this is a radial arm like our arm uh, it can move freely uh, when that conditions they will used in this radial drilling machine means the work pieces are very big so in that condition we cannot move the work pieces the work pieces is fixed only so we cannot move the work pieces so in that conditions they will use the radial drilling machines see here and that uh, radial drilling machines uh, the, the th three kind of the movement are there 
so one is the up, up and down movement that is um, uh, first of all we know about the uh, what are the parts in this this is the base and uh, this is a column uh, and here uh, the base and the column so the, the full solid material the base is a solid material so made up of the cast iron very strong one that base and uh, that uh, column is there inside of this column the motor is fixed in inside of this column so uh, that means uh, that uh, head of this column the motor is there the motor is uh, it is used to, to operate the that uh, in 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 that uh, <clears throat> radial arm is moving up and down so using the and this elevating screw so it moving that is by using this motor we, we can move it in the up and down so in that conditions the work pieces uh, what is the size of the work pieces what is the height of the work pieces based on this we can adjust the this uh, 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 radial arm uh, so we can adjust by using this uh, motor uh, it will be moving on the screw elevating screw and uh, here uh, and this uh, radial arm is attached with this uh, in this column so in this radial arm means uh, like our hand so it it will be moving uh, around it in that machine around this machines so uh, uh, that is a special uh, thing for in uh, radial machines uh, radial drilling machines so the work pieces is very big so we need the uh, in that uh, corner we need the uh, uh, corner of this hole and the next is the another corner of the hole so we need need uh, uh, we no need to move the work pieces just we can move the and this uh, radial arm by using the radial arm we can move the radially and then uh, in this uh, radial uh, here the uh, drill machines that is the uh, drill head is there so in this above the drill head they are using the motor that the motor is used to uh, rotate the spindle uh, actually the spindle is used to holding the uh, drill bit or uh, generally the spindle is uh, what is the purpose of the spindle the spindle is used to holding the uh, cutters that is the thing so here the cutter uh, here we are using the cutter as a drill bit if you are if you are taking the milling machines or milling cutter means they are also using the um, that spindle that is the tool holder that uh, that we call this as a tool holder it holding the tools it will be varying based on the diameter so because uh, 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 which diameter we need to make a hole so in that type of the holder or in that type of the uh, uh, this uh, holder we can use it uh, that means uh, we can use the drill bit so based on this the holder is also will be varying so here uh, this spindle also rotating by using this uh, motor and this uh, it will give the power that is supply power supply to this uh, spindle so it will be rotating so and that rotations uh, that drill bit is also rotating so usually the on the table the table is also fixed so uh, in uh, if you are seeing uh, some of the uh, uh, milling machines and uh, uh, drilling machines some of the machines uh, if you are taking the milling machines means uh, he, uh, in that milling machines that uh, cutter is moving and the work pieces is uh, uh, holding so the same thing here the work pieces is holding on the table that uh, cutter is moving that means the uh, this full setup that means in that the radial arm is moving and that uh, drill bit is also moving along with this radial arm so the uh, work pieces is fixed on the table by using the t slot screw uh, that means t slot that shape is it is used to holding very tightly holding the uh, work pieces and then it will be uh, because of due to during this uh, operations very uh, high vibration will pro, uh, produce so to generate so in that conditions to avoid this uh, it will be holding that uh, work pieces is holding is very important so we have to hold it by using this t slot and here feed handle actually in the speed handle is used to uh, manually they will uh, use it in the speed handle the spindle only operated by the motor that speed handle is they will use uh, manually they will use it because of uh, what is the depth we need usually uh, what are the parameter we have to give for uh, to making the hole or we have to concentrate uh, for uh, in this uh, feed and speed and depth of cut 
what is the speed speed means uh, how much rpm that um, uh, spindle will rotate so that is the speed uh, that is rpm that measures by the rpm and that is the speed these uh, three parameter we have to concentrate to, uh, during this uh, operations and then next what is the uh, feed feed means uh, how much uh, we have to remove the material so that is the feed feed means we are giving the feed feed means we have to touch the material so that is the feed how much we are giving uh, the, uh, the, that is the feed that feed is given by in this uh, feed handle that is uh, ha hand wheel uh, that is manually they will give it in the feed and the depth of cut uh, how much depth we need to cut the, so that is they they need the some requirement for example they need the uh, for a, a 30 mm of uh, 30 mm uh, depth width of the work pieces is there so 15 mm uh, drill they need the 15 mm drill or they need the 20 mm uh, depth of the drill they need so in that conditions what is the depth we have to remove the material that is the parameter so in this three parameter we are uh, giving in that uh, um a drilling machine not only the drilling machine if you are taking any other uh, machines uh, milling and uh, turning uh, in lathe uh, we are studied in lathe basic mechanical subject so in this lathe uh, that is a multi purpose machines so we can do the all operation by using the uh, that uh, lathe machines so what is this uh, uh, what are the operations so uh, uh, turning phasing milling uh, drilling is also we can use it so all the all the operations all the machining operations the parameter is very important what is the purpose what is the feed we are we are going to give what is the depth of cut how much material we have to remove it and uh, how long we have to continue that uh, operations for example if we are giving continuously we are uh, operating and this uh, drilling or we are making the hole means the heat will be produced due to the that uh, friction the heat will be produced in that conditions the heat will be again and again heat will be producing so, uh, and that uh, tool cutter uh, that uh, drill bit it will be breaking so to avoid this in that condition we have to use the coolant so in that coolant is used to reduces the that heat because of the work pieces is uh, we need to make the uh, hole or drill so the work piece is also material metal uh, very hard metal and uh, the drill bit is also very hard metal so we are giving continuously we are removing the material from the work pieces the so the heat will be produced so in that heat uh, uh, it will be uh, breaking the work uh, cutting tool so to avoid this we have to use the coolant so in that coolant is uh, reduces the uh, what is this um, heat uh, during the operations and uh, we can extend the life of the uh, cutter and the and we can extend the time also so nowadays this is the coolant is they are using in um, uh, before introducing the some of the treatment now so many treatments are introduced to reduces the uh, this heat and then uh, to increases the tool life of the cutter, cutter so so many heat treatments are there so in that heat treatment we can improve the property of the cutting tool and uh, we can uh, and then one more thing is if we are are doing this operations that the edge or in that corner the tip of the tool uh, it will be bearing so in that conditions the bearing is also reducing the productions so in that conditions they are improved or they are treated the cutting tool some of the methods um, uh, for a heat treatment method so in that heat treatment that property will be increasing uh, that is uh, uh, a, 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 for example in our um, we are seeing in day to day life they are uh, manufacture the uh, some of the agriculture uh, equipments so what they are doing uh, they are heating and that by using this furnace they are heating again they are uh, cooling that is annealing that the process is called as the annealing so cooling 
again heating again cooling they will make it as a very strong material and they will uh, get it in the uh, some uh, shapes is right so we are studied in um, uh, hot metal forging and uh, cold metal forging in the topic so likewise so this is uh, this is the method of uh, improving the uh, property of the material so nowadays they are introduced the cryogenic and then uh, so many methods are there to improving the they are using the liquid nitrogen to improve the property of the material so in that conditions so we will improve the life of the material and uh, we can uh, give the uh, accurate uh, dimension accurate uh, uh, shape of the product so that is the main thing we are we are studying the uh, this uh, type of the material that is property of the material so uh, this is the main thing we are going to applying that concept for uh, during the uh, measuring operations and uh, <clears throat> Uh, radial drill so these are all the uh, this is the constructions of the radial drilling machines and uh, next is the uh, this is the base and everything is explained here and uh, one more thing <coughs> So this is uh, here uh, that material that cutter is uh, drill bit or and this cutter is uh, rotating in this uh, rotary motion. So that means in that motion, cutting motions, and the work pieces is uh, fixed. So here uh, in that. Uh, tip that number of the fluids they are using so what is this number of the fluids uh, they are using it based on the and that uh, shape of the work pieces in that shape of the work pieces they will choose the uh, number of the fluids that means uh, some standard fluids are available that is the uh, two fluids three fluids four six five like uh, so how much fluids are increases that much we can remove the material removal rate is very high the material is removed Moving very uh, fastly, so uh, that work pieces is very small. Means in that conditions we have to use it in the only uh, two type of the uh, two fluids only. Fluids means uh, that the cutting edges. So only two fluids only we can use it. And uh, uh, in uh, three fluids and four fluids means it will be if we are using in the small work pieces uh, three fluids and four fluids like increasing the fluids means that uh, during this uh, rotations or uh, during this operations that uh, chip will be uh, jamming. That means due to the high heat uh, generation that chip cannot uh, move. That is uh, it uh, cannot uh, come outside. So in that conditions it will be jamming so to, so uh, due to based on this work piece sizes and uh, work pieces uh, property and uh, hardness everything based on the work pieces we can choose the uh, cutting tool or we can choose the um, what is this uh, drill bit so in that uh, drill bit uh, al already i told uh, during this operation uh, that tear uh, that wear will uh, occur in this uh, edges and uh, so we, uh, that li life is also reducing so these things we are we are discussed so uh, in uh, in this uh, olden days uh, what they did the whole cutter they are treated so what happened they are expense the more money or more uh, time to treat this material more space it required the more space to treat it but nowadays they will introduce the insert they are using the insert so in that inserts or they are inserting the in that edges so in that conditions what happened the insert we we need we no need to treat the whole cutter so just only that edge of the insert only we can treat by using the cryogenic or whatever uh, treatment heat treatment or whatever uh, property uh, treatment methods is there we can treat in that in, uh, insert only that is in very small uh, chip like a chip and um, so that small size only so and that uh, treat uh, that handling the in that insert that is, is also very easy so we can check this uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the property of this insert and then uh, what is the uh, grain structures and uh, what is the uh, micro structures micro hardness so we can check it so by using the same that is uh, scanning electron microscope so by using these things we can check the that a hardness so after treating they are they have to fix it in this insert in the edges of this uh, cutter so only that insert only removing the material that is 
uh, if uh, again that insert is uh, uh, that uh, it is a beer that a beer is a maximum and that it appeared the beer means they will remove the insert they they can use it the another uh, what is this uh, another insert so in that condition they will handling they they can easily treat number of the insert they can uh, treat at the same time if you are using this a uh, whole uh, setup that means a whole uh, very uh, length of the long uh, uh, cutter we have to treat so it it uh, occupy the more space and we have to spend the uh, more coolant and we have to spend the more heat treating for example if you are taking the cryogenic means they they will used the that uh, uh, mediator as a liquid nitrogen so on that we have to spend the uh, more container in this uh, liquid nitrogen uh, usually that liquid nitrogen is evaporate easily so so we have to keep in this uh, very closed container so very closed uh, packing so we, we need the so many things so everything they will calculate because of we are uh, producing the cost basis we have to reduce the uh, product uh, sorry product cost so what are the uh, what are the expenses is there we have to reduce it reduces so in that conditions uh, uh, no needed to uh, no needed to treat the whole cutter so just in that inside edge of this inside insert only they will used to uh, treat it uh, so in that conditions a very small container is enough to treating the that insert so uh, and then that handling that insert handling is very easy uh, in cutter means it will be very uh, mark, uh, very, very uh, heavy heavy weight that heavy material and uh, we are carrying and uh, we we need to give the more space so everything uh, they will consider so in that condition the insert is better than the and that uh, for, for treating the full cutter so in uh, insert is also different type of the inserts are there uh, that is uh, that insert means not a different thing the same thing uh, what are the material what are the uh, what are the material we need to remove the uh, we need to uh, fix the cutter the same type of the material they will use as a insert so in in uh, in that conditions we need the we can change the inset only so the whatever it may be the cutter is there whatever it may be that uh, what is this uh, holder is there we can uh, fix it in the inset only so we can change is the inset so these are all the uh, very easy method to increasing the productivity so these things we know about the um, <clears throat> in um, uh, application oriented so we are studying the milling drilling the same thing and the what what we are uh, talking about this in this uh, drilling the same process the everything uh, the how to choose the uh, cutter and the how to choose the uh, work pieces and in uh, that work pieces why we have to treat the work pieces some conditions they will treat the work pieces also so in that conditions uh, for example uh, <coughs> Uh, we we need we need to uh, what is this we need to make the uh, strength uh, in that condition the work pieces is uh, treat the uh, we are using for example we are using that work pieces is in the aerospace or any other uh, 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 any other uh, application so uh, they needed to uh, know about the or they needed to uh, study the uh, property of the material because uh, what is the corrosion what is the uh, uh, wear resistance and uh, what is the strength of the material and uh, what is uh, how much uh, uh, it can withstand and what is the property that is tensile property yield strength and uh, how much hardness so there are two type of the hardness we can uh, measure it that is a rock well and a brillness hardness so in that condition we know about the uh, that work piece work piece material so based on this work piece only we can choose the uh, cutter 
and uh, we can choose we, we we have to give the treatment we need the how long we have to use it in this cutter how long uh, we need to increase the life of this cutter so we are go going to take the uh, mass production means the cutter is a major role because uh, we are giving the same type of the product in num uh, more number of the product uh, for thousand or two thousand in lot and lot so in this mass production the cutter the same type of the cutter uh, or the same type of the material we need so in that conditions the Uh, cutter is very important uh, and we have to treat or we have to improve the property of the cutter so these are all the things we, uh, we are need to know about the, this is the application <coughs> hello வெரி ஹெவி டியூட்டி மெட்டீரியல் so so in that conditions very uh, 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 very less hardness is sufficient so why it will be uh, cracking uh, what happen so, sometimes we are giving the more pressure maybe that the wooden block is not that much uh, of strength for uh, using this uh, drill the unique queries post your post in your chat box is yes, good afternoon okay ma'am thank you for your wonderful session now i thank you sir thank now you, i sir. call uh, mr frederick naraj department of mechanical engineering to propose the hot of thanks I am Frederick Nyanaraj good evening to all present here I am very happy to deliver the thank you address on behalf of Dr MGR Educational Research Institute Chennai for this wonderful event first and foremost I am happy to extend my thanks for the kind permission to conduct a subject lecture to the most honorable founder chancellor Sri AC Shadmugam sir honorable president engineer ACS Arun Kumar sir and also to our respected vice chancellor dr s geeta lakshmi respected provost dr g gopalakrishnan respected rector dr b viswanathan respected registrar dr c b palanivelu respected joint registrar academics and administration dr v siril raj respected joint registrar e and s dr d b jabaraj my special thanks goes to respected dean ENS Dr NS Subhashri ma'am for organizing this event to a grand success thanks to the event coordinator Mr S Saravanan assistant professor mechanical engineering and also Mr RT Chandra for successful conduct of this program i am very much thankful to our chief guest Ms C Devi assistant professor mechanical engineering Dr MGR education and research institute for a wonderful explanation about the radial drilling machine and its features I thank all the department staffs and the non teaching staffs also for their help. I am extremely thankful for all the first year BTech students for all departments for your active participation and learning about the radial drilling machine for your career. Thank you all. Thank you for your uh, wonderful vote of thanks sir. Thank you. So once again thank you to all Uh, my thank you thank you sir my faculty my thank you ma'am members and students your kind cooperation for this wonderful session next let's not stop learning join with us stay home stay safe thank you thank you thank you sir thank, thank you, you to all thank you